This is Todd Clark. We're back at the video show at the Tiba booth, and we're at booth 300, uh, row 300, and we are streaming to you uh, from what has normally been referred to as the GV Expo, um, a sort of once a year uh, collection of media professionals, a community, a tribe, who are coming to find out what's new in technology, hardware, software. Uh, there are all kinds of panels that are going on, but the GV Expo is now calling themselves, because they're new and different, the video show. So this is the premiere uh, of that, and I have a chance to talk to people, some of whom I know, yes. some of whom I don't know. So you just whispered, have I been pronouncing your name wrong the entire time I've known you? Yeah, a little bit. Simonelli. Simonelli. So not Skiminelli. Not. Nah. I'm dropping the C <laughs> out of it. So this is Glenn Simonelli, yep. who I know first as a drummer, because yep. I respect drumming. And I have my djembe drum, and I, I'm yep. going to perform this weekend. But he's a, also another D-man director. And we have worked together uh, for many, many years at the Tiba Peer Awards. Yes. And we, we end up hating each other for about an hour. <laughs> but then we, we regroup. We regroup afterwards. We, we regroup after that. But no, but, but tell me a little bit about what, what motivates you to come down to something like this. Uh, are you, I know you're, a, you're interested in tech and things like this. But it's also a creative environment, right? So what, what, what is it in for you? I, I like looking at some of the new things. Yeah. Uh, there are some specific areas that I'm still involved with in video that I want to try and get up to speed a little bit better with because the technology is, is you know, moving very, very rapidly. But then some of the people that you meet, you find out what it is that they're doing, you go, wow, that's pretty interesting. It's right. like, you know, I did that, but I did that over here. Now you're doing it over here, kind of. It's like, so how, does, how would it meld with me and exactly. how would I be able to work with you to do this? So th that, that environment, I mean, is just wonderful in a, in a place like this. And Tiva, that's what, that's what Tiva is all about. Tiva, right. Tiva is about getting together with those people. Exactly. And saying, hey, what is it that you do? What can I do for you? What can you do for me? Cha, cha, cha. I need to borrow that because yeah. that's because I've been I refer to this as a great collaborative environment the DC community uh, who knows I might be hiring you you're hiring me something like that but it really is also a chance to kind of catch up on what is someone doing that sounds like something you thought about a year ago or five years ago or a yeah. decade ago and they're kind of really so it, that actually was a good idea so it is actually kind yeah. of working so from a director's perspective though you really have had this unique vantage point of both controlling message delivery and right. event, uh, things like this, but also sort of needing to take into account the vision of whoever that person is and kind of making it realistic or strengthening it, right? I mean, so so how do you see, I'm just I've never asked this before, but what do you, what are you doing essentially when you are in a directing position? Uh, either in directing or producing, the right. very thing that is in my mind is telling the story that's happening right then and there. So it's usually live, right? Yes. Yeah. But there is a story being told. At yeah. the Tiva Peer Awards, believe it or not, people think, well, it's a spectacle and people are winning prizes and they're coming up there. And I'm going, no, no, no. There's a story here and I'm yeah. trying to show you what it is that you're doing. Yeah. You're showing people's work. Yep. So that's, that's number one. I'm there to show the people's work. Each of the uh, contestants right. We have works. their clips. You know, have uh, their clips. Then the winners, we have a chance to see them. We have a chance to meet them. So the, the thing that's on my mind all the time when I'm directing or producing is telling the story. Yeah. I still am working very uh, uh, a lot in uh, uh, with the Howard County Public School System, directing and producing their gifted and talented music programs wow. the, for the orchestras, the yeah. bands, so and the choruses. Two, two loves of your life yes. come into one. Yes. Okay. Now, both right. of my yeah my loves. I've been a musician my entire life since I was four years old. And I'm not going to tell you how old I am now. Okay. But w when I present those concerts, I'm I'm telling a story to the yep. parents. I'm I'm there to take. This is your kid. This these are your kids playing. I'm here to show you your kids. Yep. I'm here to show you what they've been every Tuesday night at seven o'clock at whatever school that they've been at. And yep. you want to know what it is they're doing. I'm telling you that story. Yep. And that's what I do. And it's an essential role. I mean, I. I, I having been in a position to bring you in on these these things and, and work with you, um, get guidance from you and wisdom, it, you, it is an essential element for that storytelling. Because I, because you know, I'll spend a couple of weeks, months, you know, she feels like a, maybe half a year, yeah. 
kind of envisioning for myself, and each year, I don't know, you, you get it, because you're in that director's position, but each year that I've done the Peer Awards, I've had a particular theme, mm -hmm. and I've invited in VIP industry yeah. speakers to kind of speak to that theme, whether people realize that or not. Um, and in between people being recognized for their work, we have those other stories being told. So as a total evening, you, you get you, you you have to see what the total evening is all about because right. you're actually making it appear on a screen somewhere right. or on a TV yep. somewhere. Yep. And then me coming in as a whatever you're a director, producer, or scripter, hoping that a director, my my Glenn Simonelli for that night, gets it and then takes it that much further. When right. I was when I was working full time, a little pat on the back. When I brought a crew out into the field, they always liked going out with me because they knew that I had a vision in yep. my mind already of what the piece was going to look like. So I went and got the shots that I needed, yep. as opposed to going out there and just sort of overshooting and getting a whole lot of stuff that you're or not going Or missing stuff. Right. So that's, very, that's foremost in my mind yep. whenever I'm doing a show, whenever I'm telling a story, even even family stuff, stuff that I shoot for my family. Yeah. I just finished a thing for my, my, my grandson's fourth birthday party. I told a story about that day. Wow. You know, it started out with a billboard, and then I started out with, with him uh, 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 getting his birthday at his daycare. You know, yeah, the yeah, kids yeah, yeah, are yeah. congratulating him for his daycare. Then we had a little thing at his dad's house. Then we had a pool party. Then we had this. It's like, well, I'm telling the story about what's happened during the weekend so that when you look at this, right. you get a sense of, okay, it was three days of a lot of fun. But most, I mean, First, A, your family is very lucky to have you on board anyway, but I mean, some people just don't think that way. No. Or, or, or they do, they're not quite sure how to pull it off. Exactly. So, so I feel like you not only have you built up confidence, you know, every event offers its own um, catastrophes and chaos and fires. I remember there was one, I think you came to me an hour before we were going to go live and said, Todd, we need a particular cable or no one's going to hear or no or one's see or hear or, yeah, or right. see your show. Like, right. What does that mean? Yeah. Well, we got to send either someone into town yep. or somehow make a miracle happen and a miracle happened and, you know, it, it, it worked. But, the, the, but that's not an anomaly, right? No, I mean, every show has a little every, bit of a something. Every, everything has that and, and I always, uh, 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 I, I always tell my people, uh, my family, friend, people that I'm working with, I said, I, I am a person that always has a plan B, a plan C, a plan D, yep. because you just don't know what's going to happen once you get there. You have the idea of what you want, but then you get to the venue and you go, oh man, that's not going to work. Yep. I'm going to have to do something else. And you've yep. got to be able to sort of go through that. Uh, is that still is that still fun for you? Oh yeah. To problem solve. Oh yeah. Right, versus I mean, like, oh Jesus, I wish I had one thing that would go right. But the point is, it's going right because that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. You're it, all, it's yeah, it, right. and, and again, knowing what what an end product is going to be, what is it that I'm going to be saying right. at the end of this line, will help me then determine. Okay, what's the plan C that I have to do right now to make yeah. this happen? And you know, that's. Uh, uh, I think the people sort of jump over that the uh, the, the the iPhone thing that everyone is getting into right. now. Right, we talked about it. Yeah, it's yeah. a double it's a double edged sword. Yeah. It's a good thing, but you got to know how to use it properly. Yeah, you, you, you can't go about it just slip shot and slap well, dash. Someone someone said, and I corrected them half sentence. They said, "Well, it's so exciting! All people have to do is use their phone." I said, "Let me stop. Use their phone correctly and in a way that keeps the viewer either entertained or informed." Or at least engaged to yes. some degree, not yes. just this is this. I could have gone out and thrown a phone into the air, and but, but to be a storyteller means you have to have a story to tell. You have to have a story to tell, and you yeah. have to tell it properly. Yeah. The 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 iPhone that. Uh, the, the news directors are getting all of their news from now, you know, and they're standing behind it. I mean, I've, I've actually heard them, you know, on CNN, on MSNBC, the news directors are saying, yep. yes, it's raw, it's unedited, and I stand behind it whether it's right or wrong. Yep. Now, I'm, I'm not going to go into that because I'm on the other side of the thing saying, you're a news agency and you shouldn't be saying right or wrong. You should be saying yeah, yeah. it's what the news is. But when a person is showing you raw material from an iPhone of let's say an explosion and what's the one thing that they miss when the explosion happens they miss the explosion because they get scared well the phone always drops yes, it drops and then they run away yeah. and you see yeah. the, the phone yeah, yeah, running yeah, down yeah, the street yeah, yeah. and you sit there and go well okay here here's where I jump in and say that's the double-edged sword that I'm talking about yeah, yeah. he or she was there 
they were shooting this event, but they missed the event because they didn't know how to tell the story properly. Yeah. And that's what professional videographers and photographers know how to do. Yeah, exactly. Well, you heard it from the D-man himself, <laughs> Mr. Simonelli. Uh, Glenn, it's always a pleasure to yeah, talk man. to you. Yeah, man. Great being here. Uh, we got the Pier Awards coming up in yes, March. In We're going to be knocking on your door uh, for that. Um, details yet to come. I hate to TBD it, but it is. We're still getting well, some understand. venues and things yeah. are happening. So we're gonna we have a couple more interviews left to go, a couple more hours left to go. The video show at the DC Convention Center. This guy, uh, Mr. Simonelli, will be around. Hopefully, you can ask him a question or two. Uh, but we'll be back in just a few minutes. Thanks for tuning in.